What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's the Reclusive Gamer here, and I'm checking out a game called Transient. It's been sitting in my Steam library for ages and ages and ages. I think I played it one time for about 20 or 30 minutes, and then I just completely forgot about it, and I can't even recall, in terms of my recollection, if I even have this game, in terms of gameplay, any videos made on this in my, uh, on my channel. Because I have, like, I don't know, 1,200 videos, I think. I lost track. Anyhow, I don't know, uh, it could be my first time recording, but I'm playing this in VR with the Prey Dogs Unreal Engine, the VR injector. So, anyways, alright, without further ado, before I go off on my usual tangent, I'm just gonna start from the beginning, and I think everything is set accordingly in terms of its graphics, its graphical fidelity, and I think I'm happy with it, so... Let's see what the performance is like, and let's see if it even plays in VR. So far, so good. It looks, yeah, looks good. Looks good. I see a lot of stereoscopic 3D. So, here we go, new game. Before I forget, if you genuinely enjoy my content please consider dropping a like and subscribing it would really help the youtube algorithm because i'm going to need all the help i can get i'm getting very limited views as you know for uh various reasons all of my own doing but i am regretting it and yeah i can <laughs> i could really use the views and the subscribers so yeah click the notifications as well all right here we go what does it say? A series of catastrophic events and end civilization as we know it. A scientific council, Kefra, Kefra, led by four brilliant minds, endeavored to build a cyclopean domed city that would stand firm against the test of time. The city of Providence in this new era of cybernetics and implants, society found peace within their own artificial cyber worlds and thus lost all touch with reality. The city continues to protect itself against the erosions of time, ensuring the continuity of mankind forevermore. Excerpt from the book Ahir Zaman. Oh, wow. Damn, this looks friggin' amazing. I'm impressed. Let's see how it plays. How is the time for our final confrontation? Dude, this looks wild. Oh, okay. My face Despite is... Despite all you have witnessed, in this it is clear right you have no intention. Damn, the god rays are beautiful. Even the will to escape. What are these? Moths? Butterflies? In our previous interrogations, you vainly suggested that your physical this looks reality was secondary to your dreams. Merely another nightmare. This is beautiful. This is very impressive. Holy crap. We know that you use supernatural methods of inquiry. So tell me, how have you managed to visit these dream realities of yours? That's still your question. I thought you were omnipotent. My answer is the same now as it always has been. I'm not telling you! Face your reality, Carter. Yeah, this game doesn't even need Here reshape. You remain the colors are very vibrant. A prisoner on your own mortal coil. I have offered you so many chances, but you choose not to take them. Acting's not so good, but very I don't well. care. It Graphics more than I makes up for it, that's for sure. Ways of knowing. I promise. The journey will not be pleasant. Yeah, I'm the... This is... That is really loud. This is inspiring me now to check out... I'm going to go through every damn game I have in all my gaming libraries, whether it's Steam, Epic Games, EA. I got them all. I want to check which games are Unreal Engine based. And... Okay. Okay. Well, the cutscene looked good, but now I'm getting some strange artifacting. 
doesn't look correct. Yeah, I see a line, like a black line, right in front of me. I don't know if it's going to show up on the flat screen, but in my headset, it's just, it looks off. You know what? Advanced options. I'm going to go into the framework. Or to the main. Okay, that is not it. Uh, hmm. Runtime, I mean. No, this is not it either. Maybe it's here. Okay. Yeah, I might have to play... I might have to switch from native stereo. Which is my preferred method, by the way. It looks the best. Ghosting fix. No, that's not it either. Alright, you know, I'm just gonna play the game for a little while and see what happens. Okay, I see what's happening. Yeah, it's always the case with certain games. One eye renders one thing, and the other eye is rendering something else. So my left eye, it looks much brighter in terms of the textures when you can see the if you see the water textures, right? But when I close my left eye and look through my right eye, it's completely, not completely black, but the water is, it's very, it's very dark. So it's mixing two colors, so. Yeah, it's breaking the immersion. I mean, the 3D, the stereoscop, the stereoscopic 3D is still there, but that's about it. Oh, I guess I have to go through here. Towards the light, right? All right, Beyond Sensory Experience, Chapter 1. Okay, this game is weird. Oh, the cutscenes look phenomenal. You're, like, in the cutscene. Yeah, I'm a little too what close to his head now. This looks super impressive. The frame rate is not so good. Yeah, it's okay. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It looks good. I don't see. I don't see that weird artifacting anymore. Wow. Dude, this is so wild looking. This is like. What the hell is this? Once more, you enter this place of desolation. This is very HP Lovecraftian. That's for sure. I swear to God, every friggin' game, every horror game that comes out, is always based on friggin' H.P. Lovecraft. I sensed you from afar. Now, I will guide you through these tenebrious fields into the Tahoe. Uh, okay. Back, Carter, yeah, I'm seeing some rendering issues. Depending where, Remember your voice. where I look. Who are you? You discern my speech well this time. That's good. Comprehension comes when you are focused. Now, proceed. Wow. Very impressive. The only thing I don't like, this I'm place. looking at the screen now, is... The footage is shaky, and I'm I get I'm getting a lot of comments on my videos about how shaky the footage is, and I you know there's nothing that I can do about that. It's the it's the nature of the game, I guess how it's rendering. Unless of course, hold on one second. Let me see if there is. Maybe you'll know more this time. Let's 
see if there's any anything I can do in this. I don't think there is. All right, smoothing. Apparently that's not working though. See, I'm scared to play around with the rendering method and the skip draw. I don't I don't really know what that means, so uh, you know the game works, I should just leave it alone, right? Yeah, I'm going to look that up. What, I want to see what a virtual desktop fix means because I notice I can't play a lot of a lot of these games with the Unreal Engine VR mod on um, using virtual desktop. And that is my preferred method because it looks great and it's easier. For some reason, it seems to be lighter in performance. Desktop spe spectator view. Ah, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Alright, I'm just gonna leave that on then. Alright, well, you know what? I'll... I'm just gonna leave everything alone. I will, however... Oh. Let me play with the... Controls here. Okay, I have everything maxed out. Detail mode, custom, custom, I should probably put, I mean, I'll lower the post-process quality and, no, shadow quality maybe. Resolution scale, that would help too. Let me see what happens right now though. Okay. Uh, no. I'm not noticing much more of a. I'm not noticing much of a uh, performance per. Uh, I can't speak right today again. I'm not noticing much more of any kind of performance uptick. So, all right, you know what? Let me stop nitpicking. I mean, it, it can be such a habit toying with the options and playing around with graphical parameters. All right, what do I do here? Interact. Oh, wow. Kind of reminds me of Skyrim. Nice. Look at the reflections. Uh-oh. Sounds like this place is collapsing. The hell is that? Yeah, it's very... Look at this. Cthulhu-looking thing. Oh, RB? I'm not used to using RB to run, but... Whatever. Behold the ongoing process of dissolution. When the time comes... What? Oh. Dead or alive. I'm supposed Until to wait for there is nothing more. Proceed and find me on the frontier of the dissolving illusory. No, the buttons work. Jump buttons aren't working. I don't know what the left bumper is doing. I think from what I can remember from the last time I played this game, there's like a lot of puzzle elements. My brain is friggin' burnt out, so I'm not really... <laughs> I'm not too good at puzzles. Anymore. Well, maybe I never was good at puzzles. 
room temperature IQ. I got a body. What are these things? Oh, okay, I remember this. Yeah, I remember this, I remember this. Thing's head, this thing, that thing's head is shaped like a friggin' penis. Who are you? Who are you? I am the last high priest of the long extinct Daryl race. Faded away eons ago, your race. From the annals of time and space. You reanimated my body. As you have many times before. We've met over and over again. In different times, but exactly the same place. Where am I? You are in Korra Cherish. Eons ago, my kind entered this region of transition, broke the bonds of a material existence, and built this place. Core Cherish is perilously close to the heart of Zerong. This is no place for your kind to traverse. I suggest you go back. This thing reminds me of the, uh, the Primogen. I don't know if you remember that game from a Turok. That's another classic. I would love to play that game if you are. My favorite Turok game is 2. I actually recent, I recently purchased the latest one. Or the remake. I think it's Turok 3. I gotta start playing that. Alright, what has just happened? What just happened? My remains have been kept here for calling me from beyond to this semi-physical plane of existence. You reanimated my body, as you have many times before. I know you, Wayfarer. We've met over and over again, in different times, but exactly the same place. What is what? T-Home, exactly. What is T-Home, exactly? T-Home. Far past, the corrupting intrusions of matter and lesser forms of truth. T-Home is the space beyond life and death. Beings of lower planes can only, with their ignorant and brief glimpses, feel its existence. 
Only the more susceptible among them can understand what they see and thus yearn for it until their existence is exhausted. Their home is the final step before the incomprehensible metamorphosis takes its course. But this is something I am also yet to see. What did you call this? A semi-physical plane of existence? What did you call this? A semi-physical plane of existence. Hey, semi. Yes, this is the next stage tomato, of tomato. evolution. A region of transition from corporeal to incorporeal. The last frontier of all material cosmos. I can remain here no more, for the consistency of this vessel is losing its integrity. Heed my words and return to your own waking reality, Wanderer. You cannot comprehend the implications this place has for your kind. Wish I could switch the sprint button to, like, left stick. Alright, what's this? Nice. Alice? Alice, wait for me. This game is so beautiful. Wow. I'm just like friggin' in awe right now. Oh, nice. Okay, it's like a horror game mixed with friggin' cyberpunk. That's cool. That is... I've never, uh... Yeah, I've never I've never heard of those two kinds of genres being mixed before, Where but... Where are you going? It's different. Looks great. Your cyber enclaves are safe with us. Damn, I just want to inspect everything. The hell is this? Omnia Mutantor. Nihil Interret. Standing against the course of nature is a senseless thing to do. For as the water will carve its way through the terrain, nature's touch has been constantly changing the ultimate destination. We're dying with the gigantic ancient walls of this hubris-laden techno city. Society is dying from apathy and depression, so we use these strange cyber enclaves to escape from this horrendous reality. But the sober ones, well, definitely not me, with watchful eyes could detect something evil, inhuman, crawling in the dark alleys and abandoned buildings, artificially created monstrosities, disgusting insectoid mutations that were once human. Have no fear, brethren. These defects shall not remain, since nature always corrects its ways.
Oh, it's a puzzle. Uh, hmm. Oh, I think I know what this is. It's a... It's an Ouroboros, right? Snake eating his tail. Could that be it? No, it's not. It's not having it. Ah, damn puzzle. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, occult symbolism in this game. I don't care, though. It looks freaking awesome. There's butterflies. Moths. The lighting is impressive. have regular clothing on, I think. Can I jump? There's no... Okay. It's not jumping. Ah! Okay. Have to hold down the right trigger. And use the left... Or, I'm sorry, the, the right stick. And move it to the left. Simulating the same motion I would use to o open a gate, basically. I don't know why I just felt a why I felt compelled to explain that, but oh, what are these evil-looking figures? What's this? Oh wow! What does I say? Panat... Panopticon. Sounds Greek. What does he... Let me see. No, there's no crouch. Alright, I have a feeling this is mainly like a walking simulator kind of game. With puzzle elements. Inve oh, use investigation button. Why to scan your surroundings to find clues? Sorry, scan the body. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. His brain was fried. Someone probably hacked his neural implants. You talking about my brain? Remotely by overloading them. This isn't the work of an ordinary hacker. Something in his pocket. No, give me that. What is this thing? This thing looks like an electronic device of some sort. I wonder what it hides.
Oh boy, here we go. Uh, I don't get this. Oh, this is weird. Oh yeah, this is very uh, paganistic, very satanic. It's basically a freaking pentagram. All right, what do I do here? Interact. Okay, now those are beetles now. What the hell? Now they're triangles. I am confused. All right, you know what? Look around. His feet, maybe? An external sound recorder. I'd better check it out. So it's giving me a hint about that that scarab. His brain was fried. Yeah, I know, I know. Someone probably hacked his neural implants. Killed him remotely. This isn't the work of an ordinary hacker. Alright, shut up. No. Damn it. Okay, maybe I gotta find all the clues. Alright, get up. Get out of here. Well, I'm gonna need that scarab thing. Scarab. You know, maybe I should be playing flat screen. I don't know. That sucks. What's on it?
Alright, I feel like an idiot. I don't know why the symbols keep changing. Examine his head already. That's not it. That's the walkie talkie looking thing. This is the scarab. This game is pretty tough. Unless I'm just an idiot. Or a possible combination of the two things. me off. What the hell? Nothing's happening here. I'm gonna lift up my VR headset for a second. Hmm. Okay, the D-pad works. That's for the documents. The Y is for the scanner. It's not letting me select anything. Oh! I'm pre- Really? I was press- I gotta press A. Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. I think the bot- Stop it. I think the bottom one is... A snake. Yeah. Um... Alright, as I'm in the best kind of skin, uh, in the lower side, only a handful of the members of the some say there's a myth. Whispered among the elites, tool they believe the story is related to the way it goes. Out of the primal waters, first a pyramid emerged to the east. Okay. Then the scarab headed one. Then the scarab headed one, the one of the morning sun. But he, the primeval snake, lurks and waits in the darkest depths to hunt it down as it sends it to the underworld from the west. So 
So one of them's a scarab. Is that it? Ah! Dude, I gotta do this again. No. No, 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 no. Snake. This would be east, so. Right? Pyramid, east? Yeah. Then the scarab headed one. That's it. Oh, unbelievable. Okay, take the object. Damn, man, I feel like such an idiot. Alright, get up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to edit. <laughs> I'll definitely have to edit all that shit out. It took me like a friggin' hour. Uh, no, I mean, I won't edit it out because I'm freaking lazy. Oh, what do we have here? What the hell is this shit? Oh, that is very endearing. Look at you. Yeah, this is very nightmarish. Oh, performance is getting worse. Alice? What is that? Come here, Alice. Meta Shamans, Chapter Two. <sighs> Samsara, oh, I again. Is that a spinoff of Samsung? Cool. Check. I need to power the terminals manually again. What a pain in the neck. About Phi. Unlike other meta shamanic or shamanic hackers, all Odin members have specially customized perception heightening implants directly connected to our brains. Each of us has made the required customizations, adjusting them to our own physiology. According to their intended use, the implants don't work when the user is unconscious, but I need to know where my dreams are taking me, and I think I found a workaround to do this. I pushed my implant beyond its intended design. Now it becomes active and aids me during my dream excursions. Oh, I don't want to read all this. Come on. You know what? Yep. Nope. Nope. We're not going to read all that. I don't mind lore, but... Eh. If I have to read a whole bunch of shit... Then, uh... Then I'm not. There's a statue of... Oh, it's a rhino. It's a rhino. Fine. Scan environment for any abnormal activity. Yeah, this is like a... It's like a cyberpunk horror escape room.
Ah, uh, don't tell me. More reading. I hope I... This is not required reading in order to get clues to... To, uh, to advance the game through puzzles, because that would suck. Yeah, I'm too lazy. digital neural study we've been developing together with Akeley for some time. It still has some problems to be addressed. Ah, Metropolis. I remember this. It's cool. I like it. It's got, there's a lot of like 1920s and 30s, 40s art stuff. I see. Oh, I've seen this somewhere before. It's like some kind of goddess of fertility or something. I think it represents uh, fertility. physically unless it's absolutely necessary. Story of my life. So I never leave my room. Unless I need beer and smokes, that's about it. Oh, food too, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, I order out, so. Or take out. If I could have beer and cigarettes delivered, I, I totally would. Oh, cool. Uh, is this a kitchen? Vinegar, water, Renoil, Narvant, Meme Oil, Alcohol. Okay. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Uh, it's not that much. Maybe I'll read this one. But something... What does I say? But neep... Ner but deep... Neep... But deep neural hacking is the highest form of hacking. The practitioners generally refer to themselves as metashamans. For this practice requires special herbs and drugs as well as some powerful hardware to be successful. Sometimes the use of divination or geomancy empowers the hackers with exotic benefits. Each meta shaman enters a deep trance with the help of both self-prepared drugs, mixtures, and specially upgraded and calibrated hardware. This trans mode helps them to achieve a form of higher awareness during the hacking session and to roam through the third and deepest level of the net into which any ordinary citizen cannot penetrate. But this is a high, this is a highly illegal act and one punished severely if caught. Calibration means adjusting the hacking devices to the physiology of the hacker individually. It's better to prepare the mixtures when needed. It should be as fresh as possible to be effective. Oh. Alright, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be playing this. 
It's better to prepare the mixtures when needed. It should be as fresh as possible to be effective. Yeah, I want to do this thing, right? It's better to prepare the mixtures when needed. It should be as fresh as possible. I mean, I don't to be mind effective. some puzzle elements, but I don't like games solely based on puzzles because I suck at them. It's better to prepare the mixtures right, when up, needed. Bro. It should be as fresh as possible to be effective. Ooh. Get out of the way. I had a feeling it's not going to be in consecutive order. Played enough of these games to know that. You received the file from Alice. Enable the investigation mode to view the location of the terminal computer. She usually refrains from contacting us in this way. I better see what it's all about. It's better to prepare the mixtures when shut up. needed. It should be as fresh as possible to be effective. Use the main terminal. That was this. Oh, yay, more demonic shit. During my frequent bizarre dream excursions to unearthly locations, I have been seeing myself occup occupying a strange body with a liturgical metallic mask covering its face. I haven't had the courage to look at what the mask hides behind its grotesque features. Even though my strange body is humanoid in shape and size, its sensory receptors and perception responses are telling a different story. Vaguely, I always feel that the muscular blue skin body holds a power that I power that I cannot comprehend, at least not yet. These are the drawings of the things I've come across in my dreams, or rather my dream quests. For the longest time I haven't had any, but now they've started all over again for some reason. Jeez. Yeah, I don't... I don't have any, any kind of dreams like this. Most of my dreams... Most of my dreams consist of, like, chicks with, like, really big titties. That's about it. I have no idea why I felt the need to say that, but I'm just rambling. This is the model of the pyramid I've often encountered in my dreams. I had Alice make this one for me. She has quite the talent when it comes to these things. Oh, a collectible. All right. How's this? This game looks impressive, but I don't really, I don't know, it's not really my kind of game. It kind of reminds me of uh, Observer with that guy from Blade Runner. What's uh, the guy? He's He friggin' died. What is his friggin' name? He's a German actor. Ah, oh, his name will come back to me.
are being safely transferred to your desired floor. What? In case of an emergency, a medical bot will be dispatched to your current location. If a mechanical problem occurs, a service bot will be dispatched immediately. Attention, upon your arrival, please mind the gap between the elevator and floor platform. This looks so freaking cool. Fine. Scan environment for any abnormal activity. The data's corrupt here. Oh, more reading. Wonderful. Oh. It's a dead chick. With, um... Ooh, nice ass. No, I'm not reading that shit. Fuck off. How was that say? Necronomicon. I thought I said Negronomicon for his. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I didn't say that. Never mind. Alice? Is she really dead? What a waste. I shouldn't jump to any conclusions until I finish the investigation. I should try contact. Is she her. really dead? Well, she's laying f face down on the floor and she's not moving, so I... Yeah, anybody with a... With a reasonably, logically sound mind would deduce that... Yeah, she's, uh... She's out of commission. But, you know, what would I know? New command available. We'll press Y to do... Wait, what? Fi. Scan... Alice's body. Oh, yeah. Can I teabag her? Cause of death, heart failure due to immense electroshock directed to her entry port. Which, which entry port? <laughs> or which entry, rather? Her entry ports are burned. I mean, she's got three There's as no far as I'm concerned. Physical abuse. Oh man, Before I'm gonna get so cancelled. There was a remote cyber attack targeting her brain. But our fight implants were specifically designed to avoid such attempts. It seems it failed to do so. Her entry ports are burned, but... Alright, uh, shut up. Oh... You know I had to do that. Hmm. Nothing happened in her butt area. Her hand? Oh! Her lower back? She has no external wounds or injuries on her body. 
take what object? What was that? I guess that's about it, right? Fine. Scan Alice's bedroom for any abnormal activity. Let me guess. Molek. Confidential. The time for our last mission has arrived and all the preparations are done. We are going to take back what was stolen from us. Run is at the highest difficulty and needs the cooperation of the whole team. Distribution of duty is as follows. Alice, remote hacking. She will coordinate the operation. Carter, on site. He will access the biolab section to retrieve the OSHA, OECA. Akeley, Ackley, on site. He will hack and access the main network terminal to open a port directly into the mainframe computer. Wilcox, on site. He'll use human proxies to gain access to the forbidden sectors. Oh, I'm not reading uh, don't, don't, don't. That's strange. I don't remember anything about this radical operation. Dear Odin team members, if you're listening to this message, then it means I'm no longer alive. So lame. I'll get straight to the point. There's a lurking danger out there. And right, it's I can't hunting get this around her. All of you should already have noticed that it is hard to remember recent memories. Something has been used on us during our latest run to the Kepfer Corporation. Despite all the technological devices we have, they were able to trace us down. Oh, dude, this is so. Uh, what, what the hell's the name of that game? Uh, Monty Davis X. Okay, this is gonna be. I have to get those little folders, those little files or something, right? What the hell is this? A letter? Oh boy. Let me try one more time. Three files detected.
Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Am I timed? I can't... Oh, okay. I, hmm. Later. Oh, I can't go back now. Shist. Damn, I messed up. None of these other buttons work. Yeah, I messed it up. Fuck it. Well, I got a little folders, right? one down there. There's no way I'm going to be able to pass this thing. Shit. Fuck. Uh, I'm going to go with Taylor this time. Damn, I can't go back either. Alright. I'm... Fuck. Suck it. Yeah, skip it. Please. Uh, I think I had enough of this game. Not my kind of game. Looks good, but... That's about it. Can't pass there. And I can't pass there. Fuck. What is this? A backdoor connection to an external file? Her backdoor? I got a freaking... I don't know. Alright, I think I'm done. I, I don't feel like playing this anymore. It looks good, though. This is probably this is probably why I never finished the game to begin with. First time around. It's all about looking for clues, and you gotta use your brain somewhat. So, Alright, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I, I had I had a decent time. I really enjoy the graphics and how it looks. I think it's very beautiful, very beautiful. So, um, yeah. Like I said, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all the next one. All right. Uh, if there's any particular games you want me to play, then uh, drop a suggestion in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you in the next episode and remember consider dropping a like and subscribing all right take care have a great night bye bye
Show. Yo, 